Okay, and none of this is scripted. So. Six years. No. Hello, internet! Welcome to How Not To The Show. Well, not really the show. The YouTube video that steals other YouTubers' lines. Yep. <laughs> Today, Paula here is going to be making some makeup for her work. So I work at Shoppers Drug Mart in Ontario, Canada, and it is October, so I like to, because I can do some fancy Halloween looks, the amount of talent that I currently possess. Our friend Vera is very much into dragons. She is 11 years old, the same age as Fiona here. So I'm going to try to put a dragon on my face. I'm not gonna do my whole face cause that would take hours. I'm going to just do a piece of my face here and then do a glam look-ish. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Depends on how much steam I have left. Anyway, that's my plan. I will post the picture of the dragon that we're gonna do uh, on here somewhere. Maybe up there. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to film the process. What we're gonna need is lots of really small teeny weeny brushes for detail, cause there's a lot of detail. And I'm going to be using my Suva Beauty palette for the majority of the looks. That means I'm going to have to create the colors on the spot. I'm probably not going to get the colors as accurate, but to the best of my ability. And then the finishing touches I'll be using, trying to be using makeup that you can buy from shoppers. Do you like dragons? Comment below and let us know. To get started, I already put a primer. I'm using the Nip Fab. It's a Korean brand smooth Viper Venom Micro Blur Fix just to smooth over my mature skin because I have a lot of texture and a lot of wrinkles and hopefully that'll help the face paint, the eyeliners that I'm using to go on a lot smoother. I'm going to be putting on some foundation over my entire face. Then we will start creating that dragon shape um, to start with a base so I have an idea. Well, I'm going to put on my foundation so we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So I put foundation on my face. I also use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Shoppers doesn't have Urban Decay anymore, but they do have stuff online. And this is the eyeshadow primer that I highly recommend. Because I'm doing a dragon eye on this side, I wanna flatten and take away the color of my eyebrows as much as I can. You can use glue stick for it, but uh, I don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna use some eyebrow gel and some concealer. And just to take away a little bit of the color, not doing anything too crazy, so I'm going to be doing that right now. And my favorite eyebrow gel at the moment is... Do you have that thing to fly your head on because you are poor? Well, get the you local poor? Paula. Did you say you are poor? Yes. They get the local Paula chair, nice and comfortable to lie down on. Order today will be 5,786 bajillion dollars. I have two brow products. This is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. If you just like to keep your your eyelashes and eyebrows in place. This is an excellent option. It's like $3.99. This is the best though. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. It's like shellac for your eyebrows. So if you don't want those, they're not gonna move anywhere for 24 hours if you need it not to move for 24 hours. So I'm only gonna put this on the one side. This episode was filmed right before she had to go to work. So who knows if we're gonna get this look done before I have to go to work. <laughs> I'm just smoothing it along my skin, really flattening it down. Oop, and it's mixing with the foundation and getting crusty. Awesome, so maybe do this before you put on foundation. <laughs> this is why the channel is called How Not To. Correct. Incorrect ways on how to do your beauty. Okay, so we're gonna let that set. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the initial shape of where I want the dragon detail to go. So I'm just going to use a coal eyeliner, something that can easily rub off. Nothing that's going to stay on my skin because I don't want that black outline. So I'm intending on going like this and down like this for dragon. The dragon's eye is... I don't know what that shape that is other than like an eye shape that's pointed at each end. I think we're gonna start it here and then it goes up in a triangle and then like this because we want it definitely on an angle and going up to make it more dragon-like. I think that's what I want to do. On the other shape. side of the camera is the dear viewer. And then but in actual, is... but that's in principle because in actuality what's behind the camera is a window. Yep. As you were saying, this dragon picture, the eye is round, but then there's lines here like that. 
so we're gonna have dots here. Editor, please here. tell Paula something that she did wrong right here. Are more dots. Okay, so that's what I think I'm going to do. And then the mouth kind of goes down and up, and then there's like an orange fin, fin behind the ear. So maybe I'll do that detail as well. I'll leave that for now. I may or may not do that. Let's do you see. know what happens when you subscribe? Nothing! So I'm going to do dark blue here and then a lighter blue down here. We're starting off with this deep blue here. I have no idea what kind of color that blue is, but we've got a little dish to collect the colors and I'm going to use some kind of floofy paint-like brush to get the color and so we mix these colors with water to activate them and so I have a little tub of water here by my side and here we go we're gonna start making some colors do you guys know what happens when you subscribe well you hopped at this channel because it's for makeup and so that you guys don't screw up like this person right here does editor put something that she did wrong <laughs> probably should have put that one down first somewhere on the page I didn't realize it was a sparkly mess. this is not wrong, a book wrong 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 that wrong, was so weird. wrong wrong <laughs> wrong anyway i did this if wrong. we can get to a thousand subscribers then it, i might convince paula here to slap the giant sub the, a red subscribe button all over her face and then take her t and then force her to go to work with it if you want to see that episode then you better subscribe paula.exe is mixing the paints exe yes what does that mean ask the significant other Who's the significant other? The Your door. father? The, the door. door. <laughs> ask the door. What? If you need information, ask ask one of your doors. They are very, what? very helpful. <laughs> I have the color here. I think that should cover the area that I want. So I'm gonna start applying it and we'll see if that's enough. Oh, you know what I didn't do is put concealer on my eyebrow. Look at so. this majestic woman with her normal fairness in hand. It looks like she's taking a giant brush and then just slapping paint on her uh, eyebrows. So I'm using this e.l.f. 16-hour uh, camo concealer in the matte finish to just take the color out of my eyebrow a little bit. I'm not sure how well this is gonna go, but we'll give it a try. This should definitely be in a time lapse. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's a mouth. See nothing. Huh? It's going to eat you. Okay, so this is 10 minutes long. Yeah, so we're gonna have like three hours worth of video that I'm gonna have to edit through. I've done that one side and again, the top is a lot darker blue. So I'm gonna go in with the black and really try to darken that up. This is how hoes work. So farmers do this with their hoes and like they normally take it, but this is how hoes should actually work. What hoes are you talking about? <laughs> Just some hoes. What? Like the tool, the hoe? Yes. You're not talking, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just tapping the color in because whenever I do a stripe it makes a line and I don't want that. I don't want lines. So I'm tapping it to add a little bit of texture. It'll make it look a little bit more scale-like. Hey mom, mm -hmm. you might want a duck because dragon. There's a dragon in the house? Yes. <laughs> it flew past the camera. Okay. It's very smooth. <laughs> Definitely not edited on. <laughs> <laughs> and the jaw. This is the darker part. 
and then from the like eyebrow of the dragon down is a lighter blue with a dark undertone. So I'm just trying to get that shape. And it has these lines. So right around the eye is a lot of darkness. So we're going to start the eye. Not wall. the void black. There. Like that. Oh my gosh, it's a dragon. Oh. We're gonna go in with the white concealer and cover the entire lid. I'm going to draw the dragon's actual eye on my eye, so when I close it, you'll see the actual dragon eye color, but then when I open it, you'll see my eye. That's my theory. Is it gonna work? We don't know. That's her makeup theory. Yes. Thanks for watching. Yes. It's not over, so probably don't click away. Can you fan my eyeball to dry it? What service? A lady holds the fan like this and then goes hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do the pupil first and then I'm gonna do the green outline. I mean, it's a pretty big pupil. No, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to go larger than that. This video's already looking like 22 minutes. Left. I'm telling you, it takes three hours to film and I'll only use 20 minutes of actual footage because nobody wants to see most of this stuff. So far the eyeball looks terrifying. <laughs> and then you flick it back up and catch it and then you're like, I am the queen! You're here! No, I must pat my face! No, seriously, I need to fan my face more. Aggressive! No, please don't hit me. <laughs> now we need to get this color green. What colors do you think we should mix together to get that color of green? Yellow and blue. Good! She's got color theory down. Hello, internet. Welcome to color theory. <laughs> Do you think that green is? Yeah, close enough. Yeah. So now I've mixed blue and yellow together to make that green for the eye, and I'm gonna go around the black pupil with the green paint. This is taking quite a long time, but... I'll be going at this for two hours, so if you wanna leave to take a break, feel free to come and go as you please. I'm gonna go on technology and take a break for a bit. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker green around the pupil to add some dimension to make it look a little more realistic, I think. I'm just trying to copy what I see in the picture and some parts of the iris have just darkness around the edge to really define the line, I'm trying to. And this is difficult on textured skin, so everything's gonna look a little bit more wrinkly, but hopefully my texture is gonna add to the scaly bit <laughs> and make that look more realistic. As opposed to the eye, that's not gonna look as realistic because it's too lumpy and bumpy for an eyeball. An eyeball is supposed to be smooth and glossy and you're not gonna get that from the texture on my eyeball. To make it look more glossy, I wanna add um, a lighter piece where the sun would be reflected. So I'm gonna add white to the green. So to add dimension to any drawing, any color, you start off with the color that you want. So if you wanted like a purple heart, You'd start with the heart, the color that you want the majority of the heart to be. And then around the edges, you create the shadow with a darker purple and then any highlights that you want to make it look more of like a 3D shape, you're gonna add a lighter. So you're gonna add white to that color. So I'm just adding white to the green that I used in the original light green eye color to try to get a highlight. I've added way too much white. So this is gonna be a stark contrast. Okay, I think I need to add more yellow because I think I've lost the tone. Then we're going to create the structure of the eye. So this time I'm actually going to use an eye makeup product. So I'm going to use an eyeliner. I'm going to use the Clarins Graphic Ink Liner. And so this is going to be stark. It is like a marker. So it's going to be very harsh lines. So if I screw this up, I'll go in with the black eyeshadow and fuzz it out. Detective <laughs> Waffles is here to solve the case. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Waffles? What is this? Waffles thinks that you are changing your face. I am. What do you think so far? Does it look dragon-like? Waffles does not know what a dragon is.
Detective Waffles is here to inspect half dragon face. Where were you on the night of the pancake incident? All right, Detective Waffles will finish her interrogating. It is now exiting back to the realm of the nap. Actually, she's changed her mind and is just going to sit here and gather more evidence. Okie dokie. Dramatic music plays. Then I'm gonna go in with a pencil, regular pencil. This is the Urban Decay Waterline Eye Pencil because I wanna get in my waterline to really get that eye definition. First, I'm gonna try to do a white line in there and a green to really make this whole eye connect. So it might not work, but let's just see. So I have the Maybelline New York Tattoo Studio Gel Line Pencil. So that looks more like an eye. Yeah, I think that looks good because it kind of brings my eye and the dragon's eye together. I'm gonna do my waterline, uh, the uh, above waterline, see if that also helps. It has a skin peachy tone in here, so I'm gonna add that. So to make peachy tone, I'm gonna take a little bit of red and mix it with white. I love these Quo Q-tips, they're pointed. Any Q-tip that's pointed is gonna work really well for Fixing up those little whoopsie doodles went too far or a little bit too much. So you just tap it out. So underneath the eye is a much lighter blue. So we're gonna add some white. And it is reactivating it a little bit. But I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough. So I'm gonna tap into any remaining blue that was left over. That is not blue enough. Okay, so now I need to start with a new paintbrush. <laughs> so now I'm just going in right into the original blue and I'm going into that white to mix it to hopefully make a nice bright. And I toned it down again. <laughs> just gonna keep going. Should've mixed the color first before I did this. My bad. Yeah, that's the blue that it needs to be. So now I want to enhance these squares around the eye. So that's the first color and I wanna wait for that to dry. And then here's gonna be lighter blue, so I'll just add white over top of that. And I think that's actually too dark. I'm gonna to have to light, whiten, lighten up that part so it stands out a bit more. Now I'm gonna go back in to really darken up those lines surrounding the scales because I went a little overboard with some of the light. I'm just trying to create, there's some separation between the scales. So I think I went way too big on this side. So I think I'm going to adjust that shape. All right, so now I'm bringing some green down then I'm gonna add some blue on top. And then there's green little circles that look like scales on the bottom. And this is an ear flap. It's supposed to go behind the ears, but I'm not gonna have dragon ears. Um, but I just wanted a distinctive feature on the dragon for Vera so that she knows which dragon I'm talking about. <sighs> I don't know if it's gonna help, we'll try it. And if not, I'll just take it off. This line is just delineating the dragon's jaw. I finished darkening the edges of here. I darkened the scales here, they're a darker blue. It's not quite the blue that is the dragon in the picture, but close enough. So now I'm just going to be filling that in. So I will see you when I'm done filling that in. 
we'll see if I get close to the color. <laughs> I need to wait for this part to dry. It's not covering my skin as well. So I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna fix the iris, make it a little bit more defined. And I think I'm gonna go back with the Clarins Graphic Link Eyeliner. So this eyeliner sitting on my skin is tightening up. <laughs> my whole face feels tight. So by the end of my shift tonight, it's probably going to have a lot of cracks. I would say eyeliner wasn't the best idea. I find face paint is much more comfortable to wear, but you do have to be careful how much water you add to the product. Next time I would use, you can get these from the art store. So I got this from our local Curry's, the <clears throat> Snazaroo Classic Face Paint. This stuff is awesome for crazy looks like this uh, or any Halloween look. So good, it lasts for hours. It's really easy to use. You just add water, it comes in a puck. I can't say enough good things about this. I used this last year for some of my Halloween looks and it lasted the entire shift. It was great. No cracking, no tightness, just like you do feel like you have paint on your face. It's um, not like makeup. These eyeliners, they will not budge but they, are, they feel tight on my face, so I don't think a kid would want that. I would use the Snazaroo face paint for sure. I have no idea if this shape is circular, especially with my hooded eyes, it makes it real difficult to tell. Whatever you do, do not blink or the wet ink from the eyeliner is going to transfer to the other lid. So keep your eyes closed until it is dry or else you're gonna have to redo everything. Well, that seems to have darkened up a bit since it's drying, so that's great, because I'm just gonna add polka dots, but I'm gonna try to do one more layer and see how it goes. If not, then I'm just gonna start putting the little dots and bumps over top and hope to God that that is enough. <laughs> I have an hour and a half before I have to get to work, and I haven't done this side of my face yet. <laughs> that's as good as I'm gonna get. It's pulling the paint from underneath because the paint's so wet, so it's just peeling off what I've already put on. So I think I'm done for that side. I think it's the color it's supposed to be. But you know what, that doesn't look too bad. There's a bunch of dots and stuff, so I'm gonna make those now. And the first dots are quite yellow, so we're gonna create that bright yellow, almost like a neon green. I use big brushes like this to get the big areas, and but for these little circles, I definitely want smaller brushes because when I draw a circle, it always gets out of hand. So I want something relatively small to start with. I think this size should do. It starts down the dragon's nose and then around the eye. So it's gonna start here. It turns a corner. That is not a circle. That is also not a circle. Now, luckily these circles aren't perfect in the drawing because they're supposed to, they need to be closer together though. Cause they're supposed to be more scale-like than like painted dots. And the closer they get to this corner, the bigger the dots get. And I'm not gonna try to make the exact shape of those dots because ain't nobody got time for that. Sorry, Vera. I know you would want to make the dots the exact shape because you are a hardcore fan. Not today, Satan, not today. Wait, so those are looking pretty rough um, and they're too dark. So I'm going to just make the rough shape of them in this color and then I'll go back over them to make them much more um, vibrant. I just wanna get the relative placement and shape down before I start fine tuning. And then that would disappear into the horns. I need some more yellow. I'm gonna dry this up. Hmm. I'm gonna go in with the darker background color here just to try to smooth out those shapes where it's harder to get a definitive line. Now we're going to do the circles, which is just a slightly lighter color than this. I'm gonna try adding a white and see if this is gonna work. I have very low expectations. <laughs> <laughs> and they're pretty big dots, pretty big scales. So I'm gonna try it with this size of a brush first. So I'm just gonna already mix it with the color that was already there to create a whiter 
lighter green. And then I'm just gonna try to go over and here we go. And they're just little circles and they're much closer together than the yellow ones. They vary in size. So yeah, this wasn't the best brush for this kind of detail. See if I can go in with a smaller brush to really define those circles. So I think I'm gonna go in with this brush here and with the same pale color, just try to get a smoother, clearer outline. That looks better. I just got the brush wet and then dip and then scraped off the side. You don't want too much water because then it gets running. It starts running down the side of your face. And this seems to be smoothing out those rough edges that I couldn't get with that bigger brush. This little brush is going into all of my pores and texture, so it's able to smooth it out a bit more. And I also have a lot of fine hairs on my face as well that adds the texture. I mean, most people should have fine hair on their face unless they shave their face, which I usually do, but I haven't in a while, so it all grew back. If you're wondering where Fiona went, her cousin ended up online, so she's online playing, probably playing Minecraft with her cousin. I love how kids are so spatially unaware. <laughs> I'm like, you're bumping me, you're bumping me. And she just doesn't notice, <laughs> or like it doesn't register that I'm trying to do meticulous art here, and so I need accuracy. So I think the next time that I catch her drawing, I'm just gonna go over and constantly bump her arm and be like, hard to draw when someone's bumping your arm, isn't it? <laughs> Am I petty like that? You bet. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Not happy with what's going on here. I think I might just take that off because I don't want to extend it down to my neck or anything. All right, the next part I'm doing is the ear flap behind the dragon's ear. I'm not going to be painting my ear. I'm not that dedicated to this. So I'm going to try to do this sideways. The tone is a nice bright orange, so I put the original red from the palette in first, and then I'm just gonna keep adding yellow to it to hopefully blend it to the orange that is in the picture. And my hair, I'm just painting over my hair. We're just gonna have to be okay with that. And the bottom is like a purple. This part here is a purple. All right, well, let's just go for it. I'm gonna leave that, and then what I'm gonna do is add some navy blue to define those lines, but with a smaller brush. Not intense enough. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to add some black. It really helps when the dragon has a jowl that you yourself have a jowl. It really helps with the shading, like it's just a natural shading a natural sag of the skin if you will to really help make this dragon face whoops look as natural as possible so you youngins out there trying to do this sorry you don't have your natural jowls yet so it might be a little more tricky for you to recreate it but anyone mature you'll have no problem at all <laughs> so i'm just trying to clean up the edges where i've made some whoopsies hi i had to switch cameras because my camera ran out of memory and I don't know where the card is at this moment in time. This is the finished product of the dragon side. And now I'm going to do a glam of some sort, just like makeup on this side, hopefully incorporating some of these colors into the side. Oh, I'm going to add some white mascara and then I'm gonna do some black mascara there as well. I'll start my look and film a couple of pieces throughout, but I'm not gonna do the entire thing because I'm running out of <laughs> data and this is gonna take me forever to edit. For the white mascara, I'm just gonna use the Lancome Sills Booster XL. It's just a eyelash primer, so I'm not sure if it's gonna stay on my lashes or what, but we'll We'll give it a shot. I'm too nervous to put concealer on my eyelashes. I know this is gonna be eye safe, so we'll, we'll give it a shot and we'll see if I have to change it before I go to work. I will. And it's getting closer to work. It is now 5.15, so you know what? I think I'm just gonna go with 
a neutral glam look because I'm running out of time. I have about 15 minutes left to do makeup because um, I still have to get changed and make a, a snack for later because I haven't had supper yet either. So I'd already put foundation and primer on this side. So let's do some brows. All right, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice because it's right in front of me and it's easy to grab. It has really pretty colors that kind of contrast with the blue. This is what I decided last minute, probably a mistake. So I'm putting down a shadow that closely resembles my skin tone. This one's a little bit lighter. It'll help any additional eyeshadow that I add to my eye. It'll just help it blend better over top of the eyeshadow primer. The eyeshadow primer be sticky. And then I wanna take a brush like this and I'm just gonna add color to the crease of brownie tone and you wanna start lighter and then go deeper. And I always like to take the eyeshadow down here because of the shape of my eyes. I just feel like it completes the look a little bit better. I always feel naked and it feels weird to me if I don't take it down here. I think a lot of it has to do with, like I have a lot of texture and fine lines. <laughs> so uh, I'm trying to camouflage that. <sighs> that didn't scare me. I'm gonna take a darker color and I'm gonna drag it across my lash line and even on the bottom here to try to get any, sometimes shadows skip. This shadow palette, it doesn't skip too much. There'll be lines where the shadow doesn't go, so it looks almost looks like zebra stripe. Part of this palette blends beautifully and doesn't skip as much. It's really nicely pigmented. You can build it up and when you apply it, it's not too much when you first put it on. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of this purpley one to get a little bit darker. Just taking it on that edge, I don't want it to go any closer to the center of my eye. It's pretty muddy. <laughs> what do I know? None of these greens have a similar green tone. But the question is, do I have a green that color? Oh, so the Makeup Revolution palette, you can get from shoppers. That's close enough. <laughs> and then on the inner corner, I'm gonna put gold. Now I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm gonna put a little in the center of my lid too. And I think I wanna add some gold sparkle to the eye. Make it a little more dimensional. Now I'm gonna do some eyeliner and then some blush. I'm gonna use the Sephora one. And then to make my eyes more open and large, I'm going to use a color, a uh, skin tone color in my waterline. Okay, then I'm gonna add some mascara. I'm gonna put the rest of my face on and then I will say my goodbye, so see you in a minute. Okay, my, I'm not, I haven't done my hair yet or anything, but this is the final look. I don't know if Vera would wanna like add a fang there to make it more dragon-like, but um, I'm just gonna leave it because I have to go. <laughs> yes, this is my dragon slash glam look. <laughs> Roar. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Does it even look like a dragon. Oh, I forgot to put the white on the pupil. <gasps> okay. I've got the white on the pupil. <coughs> I used the Huda Beauty setting spray. <coughs> oh my God, it's so fragrant. Blah. But it shellacks the makeup onto your face. So <laughs> what are you gonna do? Okay, anyway, this is it. You enjoyed the video let me know if you recreated or if you're crazy enough to and uh, what's like adding horns or like some kind of scaly shiny outfit to would make it really fun this is it hope you liked it happy halloween i'll see you later bye